Welcome. This is an Innovations Tech Tip. In this tip, we're going to explore a couple of ways to find open IP addresses on your network. You might need this information if you were going to temporarily set a static IP address for a host. Even after you've found an open IP, though, you still need to take care to avoid IP conflicts if your network uses DHCP. Please also be aware that one of these techniques uses the NMAP network scanning program, which may be against policy in some environments. Even if it's not against corporate policy, the NMAP man page states that there are administrators who become upset and may complain when their system is scanned. Thus, it is often advisable to request permission before doing even a light scan of a network. The first technique that we're going to cover is the use of the rping command to tell if a single address is in use. rping uses ARP or Address Resolution Protocol instead of ICMP packets. The reason this is significant is because many firewalls will block ICMP traffic as a security measure. So when using ICMP, you're never sure whether the host is really down or if it's just blocking your pings. ARP pings will almost always work because ARP packets are used to provide the critical network function of resolving IP addresses to MAC or Media Access Control addresses. Hosts on an Ethernet network will use these resolved MAC addresses to communicate instead of IPs. Be aware that one case in which ARP pings will not work is when you're not on the same subnet as the host you're trying to ping. This is because ARP packets are not routed. See resource number three in the blog post associated with this video for more details. ARP ping has several options, but the three that we'll be focusing on here are dash uppercase I, dash uppercase D, and dash C. The dash I option specifies the network interface that you want to use. In many cases, you might use F0 as your interface, but I'm using a laptop connected via wireless, and my interface is WLAN 0. The dash uppercase D option checks the specified address in DAD, or Duplicate Address Detection Mode. Let's look at an example. You can see that I'm pinging 192.168.1.1, which is a known router, with the dash uppercase D option. If no replies are received, DAD mode is considered to have succeeded, and you can be reasonably sure that the address is free for use. The next listing shows an example of what you would see if the address is not in use. Here, I've picked a different network address that I knew would be unused. I've also added the dash C option mentioned above so that I could have RPing stop after sending five requests. Otherwise, RPing would keep trying until I interrupted it possibly via the control c key combo. Armed with this information and a knowledge of any dynamic addressing scheme on my network, I can set a temporary static IP for a host. See the rping man page for more details. NMAP, which stands for Network Mapper, was designed to rapidly scan large networks to determine what hosts are available on the network, what services those hosts are offering, what operating systems they are running, and what type of packet filters and firewalls are in use, and dozens of other characteristics. We'll be using this to find all of the currently used IP addresses on the network. NMAP has many options and is a very deep utility, and I highly suggest spending some time reading the man page. Of all these options, the only one that we'll be dealing with in this quick tech tip is dash E. The dash E option allows you to specify the interface to use when scanning the network. This is similar to the dash uppercase I option of our ping. The next example shows a simple usage. The first thing to notice is the notation that I use to specify the network submask, which is the slash 24 at the end of the IP address specification. If you're unfamiliar with this notation, please see resource number 5 in the associated blog post. The next thing to notice is that NMAP gives us a lot more information than just what IPs are in use. NMAP also shows us things like what ports are open on each host and what service it thinks is running on each port. 
As a network administrator, you can use this information to get a quick overview of your network, or you can dig deeper into NMAP to perform in-depth network audits. In our case, we're just looking for an open IP address to use temporarily, so we can choose one that's not listed. Again, care needs to be taken when statically setting IPs on a network with DHCP. Have a look at resource number 4 in the associated blog post for a more comprehensive guide to using NMAP. That concludes this tech tip. Have a look at innovationsts.com for other tips, tricks, how-tos, and service offerings available from Innovations Technology Solutions. Thanks, and stay tuned for more from Innovations.